clicked on this video to see a clean mower, it's a little too late. However, if you came here to see the strongest battery powered push mower there is, I think you found the right place. I'm Tim Johnson, you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Ego Select Cut XP 21 inch self propelled push mower. Well, self propelled push mower, self propelled mower, whatever it is. 21 inch cut, runs on their 56 volt. 10 amp hour battery. This thing is a beast. It weighs about 500 pounds. No, not really. Uh, it's pretty heavy, uh, but it's a big beefy battery as you can see. So 10 amp hour, 56 volt battery. Single battery runs this and they say up to 75 minutes and we're going to test that. In fact, we're going to test it in more of acreage. Let's get started. We'll dig into the features. We'll take a close look at these things. Uh, and then we'll actually put this out in the field and use it. And then we'll do some uh, kind of time-lapse photography and let it run up in the corner, one of these corners, uh, while we come back and wrap everything up with pricing, warranty, and that sort of thing. With the Select Cut XP, you're going to get three different style blades. Now, you've really got four blades, but let me explain this. So this uh, top blade here, or at least when it's laid down, it's the top blade. This remains here. It stays on. Uh, it stays with every other blade. Uh, when you take this center bolt out, we'll show you this here in one moment after we use it a bit. Uh, once you pull this center bolt out, this double blade system will come off. Then you'll remove these two nylock nuts here, and then you can separate these two blades. But you'll keep the top blade, and then you can put on what we have in here right now is a high lift blade, which is great. Uh, for actually bagging as well as side discharge because it's going to give it a lot of lift on the grass and it's going to create that vacuum to pull that grass up and then send it down the chute when we don't have this plug in here. So when we want a side discharge, we'll pull this plug out and then we'll put the side discharge in which will shoot the grass out the side of the mower. Uh, but with this plug in here, and we'll show you that here in a moment, uh, this is going to allow the grass to stay in here and actually do mulching. So when we want to do that mulching, then we'll put on the mulching blade. And this again is going to create that vacuum, create lift, uh, but it's also going to continue to churn this grass in here to continue to chop it up to, to make a finer mulch, if you will, for it to lay down into the bed of the grass and into the soil to provide ingredients and, and, or, uh, and nutrients for the rest of the grass to grow. So this dying grass, this dead grass, chopped up really fine, is going to provide that food for the rest of the grass to grow very healthy. And then finally, if you're looking for sheer runtime, we've got a run, extended runtime blade. Still provides a little bit of a lift, uh, but it provides more slippage through the air that again is going to be combined with this top blade. And so you're just going to replace this bottom blade and this is going to allow for a longer run time. Now, one thing to notice is all of these blades obviously have a, a sharp edge on the end and that includes this top blade. So don't think that this is a dull blade. There's still a sharp edge here. So that's going to aid in a lot of that mulching also. You can see here down in the bottom is our motor for the self-propelled unit and the axle going all the way across with some metal reinforcement. Let's turn this around so you can get an idea of actually if you're storing this, you can stand it up on its backside or uh, standing up on the end. Uh, so you don't have a lot of width here. This could even go in the closet if you wanted it to and you don't have any gas or oil so you don't have to worry about fumes or anything like that. So even right here on the backside of this mower, our little rubber pads right here so when it does stand up it's not going to mar anything and it just has a good feel when it sits down it's not just plastic to a hard surface you've got that rubber isolator pad if you will where it's going to rest on so let's lay the mower down on its wheels and take a closer look at the rest of this first thing you see the handle laying down which makes it easy providing additional leverage when you want to stand this up uh, or you want to push it around on the back wheels what have you and it's going to lock in place when it's laid all the way down and to unlock this you just push this handle here and then you can raise that up and then you have three more locations back here to set this handle let me go ahead and raise this up and it's going to firmly lock into place. You can see I can let go of the handle here. And it's going to firmly lock into place. Go to the next one. Again, firmly lock into place with that spring-loaded lever there. It's going to easily lock those pins in the correct location 
To raise and lower this is very easy. And by the way, at level one, you're at a one inch cutting height. And then I can go all the way up to seven. And now I'm at a four inch cutting height. And by the way, so we have seven indentions here, so I can easily just pull this lever forward. And then put it in whatever spot I want to. I can put it in four and there we go. So that locks into that indention there and we've raised all four wheels and it's level and off the ground where we want it. And again, I can easily set that wherever I want to. If we want to do a side discharge, that's what this is for. So I can take this, I can put the lip down in there. So this lip fits down in here. And then this is going to hook on to that flap there. And now we can discharge out the side. Now, if we just want to bag, then basically we just leave this open and set our bagger in place. And to put our bagger in, raise the flap, set these two hooks right on the pins, and we're done. The Select XP mower comes with the 10 amp hour battery, which is a 56 volt arc lithium battery from Ego. Uh, it comes with this charger as well. A uh, really nice charger where you can see the indicator not only on the battery, but also on the charger tells you that it's fully charged. If it's not, it'll have you know, one light, two light, three lights, and it'll continue to kind of display that and show that to you as it's charging. You would also hear the fans going as well, keeping it safe while it also charges it. Now this is a 10 amp hour battery, so it is not light by any means. There are a lot of cells in here. And by the way, wrapped in some special technology to keep it cool while it's working, not just charging as well. This new Select Cut XP mower has an upgraded brushless motor that's more powerful and runs on this 10 amp hour 56 volt battery. So we get up to 75 minutes of runtime and we're gonna show you how much acreage we can cut with this. And we even have LED headlamps for mowing in that dusk hour or even at night if you want to. On the front we have seven inch plastic reinforced wheels with a rubber coating on them so they grip very nice and a pretty uh, aggressive grip around the outside as well. And on the rear, we have a nine inch rear wheel that again, plastic reinforced uh, with that rubber gripping, uh, aggressive grip around the outside of it as well. And this is gonna help uh, with the self-propelling that it's going to grip and push the mower forward rather than slipping. So in addition to the actual handle uh, changing angles, if you will, going higher and lower, we can also put this in more of a storage mode here. We can open these clamps here and then this handle will slide all the way down and we can close this up. That's going to make it shorter and more conducive for those tighter spots. Now the handle also collapses so you can open these two clamps up and then this slides down and then you can close this up and that's great for storage so you got a lot shorter handle and to raise it back up just the reverse open the clamps pull it all the way back up and close that now the controls are pretty self-explanatory but i'll just run over them uh, first we have an led switch right here for the on first we have an first we have a push button switch here for the led lights Obviously, LED on off. So push them for on and then push it again for off. Very easy to do that. And then here's our main power button. So when we want to engage the blades, number one, the handle has to be extended. And then we want to hold this down and then pull in on this. So that's a spring loaded handle. So when it's pulled in, when I just pull it in without pushing the power button, it's not going to engage the blades and I can't pull it in and then hold the button down. That doesn't do anything. However, if I hold the button down and then pull the spring-loaded handle in, that's going to engage those blades. I do not have to push the power button in order for it to go into self-propelled. So I can use it just to walk behind without engaging the blades by pushing either of these uh, spring-loaded buttons here 
and this is how I will adjust my speed and I can put it all the way to off and obviously I've got nothing and I can turn that up and it's going to start to go and again depending on how fast I want to go I can dial that in again from off all the way to wide open so either one of these buttons I do not have to push both of them. I can just push either one and you can comfortably hold this with one hand while this is depressed to be able to engage the blades as well as the self-propelled unit. Now in addition to the indicator light on the battery uh, through the little green hood right there, so I can obviously see that gauge at night, it would be easy to see. There's also an indicator light right here which actually tells me that my battery is dead uh, it also will flash orange if I have a problem with the machine or if it's overheated and then green just means we're powered up. So you see the green light right there. Maybe hard to see right now, but there's a green light. Now the first thing we're going to do is bag. So I'm going to pull out the plug here for mulching and I'm going to put the bag in. So these little metal hooks easily just sit right over the top there and then we're good to go. And we also have our high lift blade on there that's going to aid in filling this bag with our grass clippings. Okay, so this is just your self-propelled. Mm -hmm. This is your speed of your self-propelled. You can turn it all the way off and so it doesn't do anything. Or you can turn it and you can grab either one or both. Um, that's always going to work as long as your battery's, your, your battery's there, that's always going to work. To engage the blades that's what this does but you have to hold this, hold this down and then engage it and then you can let go of the button but just hold that and then you can easily just hold both of those at the same time so you can start your belt blades first no you have to push the button first there you go Good. yep Okay, so our bagger should be about full. We've made two complete trips around and nearly full. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out, but we're gonna leave um, that same blade in there and we're gonna put on the side discharge. Raise up the flap, stick that in the groove, and then this is gonna rest against this flap here and it's gonna shoot the grass out the side. Okay, we're going to change out the blade. Uh, first thing, I'm going to pull out my side discharge and we're going to discard that for the moment. And then we're going to go ahead and fold up our handle. Stand up the mower. And by the way, you want to pull your battery out. Even though when it stood up, you cannot engage the blades while it's standing up. However, you still want to pull your battery. Now, to do this, we're going to need a 15 millimeter and a 17 millimeter socket. Now I'm going to use a little impact wrench and I'm going to put on our mulching blade. So the first thing we're going to do is use our 15 millimeter, pull this bolt off. Make sure you keep that retaining washer as well. And then this whole unit will come off. I'm going to leave it on there for right now just to hold it for me. So my 17 millimeter. Bolt spinning. So with the 17 millimeter, we're going to take those nylock nuts off. Discard that blade. Put on this blade and we want to make sure that obviously we line it up with the holes and make sure you have it where it says uh, this says mulching blade here and it says this side facing the grass 
So just reverse order. Gonna tighten our 17 millimeter nuts. Those are on. Let me slide our blade back on. And by the way, if it won't slide on like that, loosen these nuts just a little. So this blade has some wiggle room with one another. And then it should slide right on there. And then I'll go ahead and tighten these. Put our retaining washer back on. And our 15 millimeter bolt. And now make sure your blades are facing the same direction and we should be ready to mulch. So now we can lay our mower back down, put the handle back up and we're ready to go. And we forgot to put on our mulch plug. Raise this up. There we go. So we didn't get a run time in the amount of minutes because really that doesn't speak a lot to us because it really depends how fast you're gonna walk and what kind of things are you mowing through. So I would rather give you in terms of square feet or acreage. So we know an acre is like 43,000 square feet. So we marked out a half acre. I think we're a little short. We're 100 by 200. So that should be 20,000 square feet. So can we just call it a half acre and you agree with us? Thank you very much. Anyway, so that's what we marked out. And the first couple of loops we mowed with the bag on it, uh, testing with the high lift blade and the bagger. Then we threw the side discharge on it, running the same blade and did a couple of laps. And, uh, and then, and by the way, we about filled up a bag on those two, those two big loops of that 100 by 200 to give you kind of an idea of, of, uh, of that. But, and then we ran two loops with the side discharge and then we pulled the dis side discharge out and we changed to the mulching blade, put the mulching plug in after we ran a lap without it. Uh, and then we put the mulching plug in with the mulching blade and that's what we finished the test with. So we didn't run the extended runtime mower blade as you see right here. So if you put this blade in there, uh, it will give you run, more runtime because it's, not, it's, it's definitely less drag on the system. It cut really well, had no problems with cuts. And, and by the way, we, had, we started at uh, level three and we put it down to two uh, about halfway through um, to give it a, a tighter cut and to just see if that was gonna you know, cause any difference, if you will. It really didn't. And we really didn't hear it govern up. In other words, when you hit thick grass, this will recognize that. You'll hear the motor power up, it'd be even more powerful to cut through that. In the regular grass field, it really didn't do that, but just a couple of times. So I was kind of concerned about, I wonder if it actually really does that much or not. Um, and then we proved that totally true when we threw it into some really thick weeds and grass, and that's where this mower really comes alive. So if you wanted to know how it would do in a little bit taller grass, we've got some taller grass and weeds here. We'll go even taller here in a moment. I wanted to point out a couple of things. Number one, one thing great about this, even though it's a self-propelled mower, you can easily push this. It doesn't feel like you're pushing against any resistance of the actual motor. I don't know how they're doing that, uh, but again, very easy to push this even without the self-propelled on. So it does very well even in the taller grass and it's set on two. So it's almost bottomed out I had it on three for a while and then we put it on two and it's still cutting very well, no problem with bogging at all.
So obviously with some regular, regular grass, regular turf grass. By the way, we have a field full of bahia. And if anybody knows our Florida bahia, it is very, very tough grass. Also have a very sandy soil, which wreaks havoc on blades. So that's what our field consisted of. And then we ran it back in the jungle where we just cut through weeds and trees and everything else. And I'm telling you, I was running over, you know, uh, little saplings that were at least a half inch thick, as big as my thumb. And it was mowing those over no problem at all. And you would definitely hear it ramp up. And there was really nothing that stopped it. So that's where we were really impressed with this. So what I usually tell people when they're looking for a battery powered mower, I say, if you are maintaining your lawn every week or you're at least maintaining your lawn regularly, you don't let it get out of hand, then buy a, a, you know, a battery powered mower and there may be a few that you can choose from. And that's usually kind of my gospel, if you will. Well, I'm telling you, this changes that game because this one could easily handle you letting that lawn get out of hand for a couple of weeks and it still be able to come over and mow that with no problem whatsoever. We were very impressed with the power on this Select Cut XP. Now, price-wise, that's where it's going to hit you. But again, you're choosing the biggest and the baddest of the push mower battery-powered mowers. And you're getting a 10 amp hour battery with the charger and the 21 inch mower, and you're gonna be 750 bucks. So you're talking three quarters of a thousand dollars. You're really stepping up there. But also, Ego believes in it because they give a five year warranty on the mower. And then you're saying, yes, yeah, so probably what, a year or two on the battery? No, they give a five year warranty on the battery as well. So a five year, five year warranty with the battery and the mower. That's hard to beat. In fact, you can't beat that uh, in this industry. Check it out for yourselves. You can find it at Lowe's and Lowe's.com. And again, it's 750 bucks. It's the Ego Select Cut XP 21 inch self-propelled mower. We were very, very impressed with it. Very featuresque, very easy to use. Love the fact you can turn the headlights on and off, even though the LEDs probably aren't that much drag on the battery. Um, and, oh, by the way, as, as you saw, we literally cut a half acre and the battery died. So apparently as the battery goes down, this is the fastest it, it will go right now. We were pacing ourselves at a slower pace, but it's definitely uh, slowed itself down as the battery got down to one cell. So he's basically finished. He's just got to mow this little bitty strip right here. And there's a complete half acre. So it literally died right there as he cut the last blade. So as we see, we're depleted and we got a red light flashing. No kidding whatsoever. And the funny thing, funny thing is the skill did the exact same thing with us as well. So we haven't planned either one of those, but that was funny that literally at the end of the strip, the mower cut off and he's like, it's dead. And sure enough, the, the, uh, the battery was flashing red. So check it out for yourselves. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And hey, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you don't mind, but only if you like this video. And if you hated our video, then by all means, give us that thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.